Hey, my name is Baz, and I'm back here with another YouTube video. Um, so I'll, I just want to do a wee update on some of the things that I've talked about in previous videos. About I was going to add a few different parts to my current PC. Um, this is just a few things that I've got. So obviously they're not all PC related. I've got a hard drive here for my Xbox, but I'm going to just touch on that because it just sort of relates to some of the hard drives that I've got. Got an external enclosure for a hard drive. 2.5 inch, I've got a Com Corsair Commander Pro and I've got a dock, heart 2 port hard drive dock as well so just going to do this wee video, just going to talk about certain parts and what I've come across as I've been putting them onto my PC, just some thoughts as well um, possibly might do it in a couple of different videos just see how long they be, um, just might edit them and sure we'll go from there, see how it goes All my videos are unscripted and they're all my personal opinions for my community. So the first product I want to talk to from all the things I've purchased is the Commander Pro from Corsair. And all the fans in my current PC are all from Corsair and so is the, the liquid cooler, you know, in the H100i. Um, all the fans have been plugged down to the motherboard and I just, when I was using the software from Asus, just wasn't fully happy with the way it was running. It was was fine, but I just wanted maybe to see if there was a difference by using the fans from the plugged in and using Asus's own software versus using a product from Corsair to see if it would run any better. So currently I have it plugged in. Um, just fine tuning at the minute just to see, so I'm gonna do a custom curve for the fans and so I'm going to try and obviously the lower the temperature of the system is going to have the fans run lower so I want to try and keep her quiet but obviously as you start to maybe do a bit of video editing or playing a game that the fans will ramp up to keep the system cool enough as well so might do a wee follow up video on that see how I'm getting on so far I'm quite impressed with it but I'll not fully know until I have it tested and you know, do maybe future thoughts and see was it worth the extra money to go for something like this to put in your case because you're talking an extra I think it's maybe £55 to you know for this to you know so is it worth that extra money when you've went to all that expense so obviously the fans I put an extra in my case as well but I so far so impressed so we'll give it a go see how it goes and I'll do a wee follow up video in the future and we'll get to the next part. So the next part I want to talk to you about is so in my PC I had two one terabyte Western digital drives and they were just more for storage for pulling things on out as I was needing them, you know. For you know, for work purposes or personal, you know, use as well. And I had a friend up one night and he had actually brought this up and he said he had purchased this thing and sort of got me curiously thinking because I was wanting to take the two hard drives out of my PC and maybe put them into external storage cases but I have a couple other ones as well that I haven't been using in the past but I would you know I could use them if I need it be and he had said he had purchased this dock so it was a two port two hard drive dock um, so you can plug it up to your PC and you can view the stuff on it or another feature of it is say if you had a hard drive and you wanted to cop duplicate that hard drive to another drive without using the PC, you know, plugging two devices in again. So this does that, so you just plug the two drives in, copy from one to the other, and that's your total thing across. Now I'd never really heard of the brand before. Thought I'd give it a go, and his tested it out. Do you know what? That was fine, it was good. Um, it worked. So bought one myself. Haven't even opened out the box, but I'm gonna maybe I'll maybe do a wee update when I do it me one, maybe copy and bits of information across, do we? I mean it's bed speed test with it and see how that goes. Haven't a lot to say on this yet because I haven't fully tested it right and that'll be for a future video. See how that goes. So on to the next part. The next part I want to talk to you about is hard drive design for the Xbox that's made by Seagate. But this isn't obviously PC related, you know, but it's one of the parts I'd bought and I uh, just want to give me wee thoughts on it. So 
I currently use a Western Digital is it a MyBook or something? It's like a four terabyte one. And I use that for all my games on it. But I've had it for a couple of years and it just seems to be deleting games and it's just not running to the speed that it was and sometimes when you boot up the Xbox it's not even showing it or anything. So from what I was reading online about the hard drive that I have, because it's more a backup drive, and they recommend that you don't buy one that's just like a backup drive, one that's probably designed for it, or a better quality drive that's going to be running all the time, you know, it's going to be booting, spinning up, and so on and so forth. Um, so I thought I'd give this a go. I've got a format, it, got it up and running. Seems to be working fine, seems to be fast enough for what the purposes I'm using. Um, probably will do another wee follow up video and talk about it and you know, maybe in the future as well. Like I like doing, talk about things and see how they're getting on. Um, so far so good. It is what it is, it's just a backup drive. Now the only thing is that it's a 4 terabyte. it's the same as the one I had before. Wanted to go a little higher. But I was just thinking because new consoles are coming out and they might update a lot of games that you, that would take performance from this Xbox Series X. So I don't know how much more I would need or how maybe less I would need or as 4 terabytes fine. So that could be an RV topic in the future when obviously I do get an Xbox Series X. Will I need as much of that? You know. But time will tell, see what games get updated. Some games might not, so there might be enough, you know, might be enough to do me. But the only reason I want to talk about this, you know, when I'm talking about PC parts is because some of the stuff that I had got, there was a wee change in the plans. So going to talk about that in the next part. So, but just bear that in mind with this. That's why I want to talk about this. And you know what? That's a fine product. It's good so far. Now, I've heard mixed reports about how long they last and stuff. So there is a year's warranty on it. So we'll see what happens and we'll go from there, you know? So storage is the final part I want to talk about this, but I have three drives sitting here and I also have an external case here as well. So this is maybe going to take a wee bit longer than the other parts, but this sort of links together. So I, I didn't really want to do a separate video just for this. Um, so a while back, the, I decided that I needed more space for my PC, so currently, I'll just do a wee bit of backstory. So on my current PC, I have a 250 gig for my operating system. I have a 256 gig for... At the time, it was going to be used for... It was a Pro model of a Samsung. So I was using that for video editing and photo editing because I wasn't doing a lot at that stage. and It was big enough for what I was doing. And I had a one terabyte QVO, sorry, yes, no, one one terabyte Evo drive SSD. So that was using that for games. And obviously I had the two Western digital storage drives in there as well. So I knew that they, the two storage drives were coming out. And that's what I had planned. Now obviously the other drives, SSDs, the three that were getting full with programs and so on and you know, if you're doing any video editing, it, it was tight for space and obviously games drive as well was falling up. So the, f the first option that I thought of was I wanted to go for another SSD to put into the system because there's five drives currently in and there's six SATA ports and that was fine. So I would put another one in so that would leave two SATA ports free when I took out the two external hard drives um, to give me more space for gaming. So my plan was for the one terabyte that was currently in, I was going to use it for other games from different platforms and then use the new one for Steam, so it would be two terabyte. Um, so I'm only getting around to get in now, so I have this in like a couple of months as well, and I'm only getting around to get this all in. Now, when I start, when I put it in, I was doing a wee bit of research on the motherboard that I have. So the, the motherboard that I have is a Asus. Z270F, so it's not one of the current re range of motherboards, obviously, because it, I've had it a while and I'm going to plan to upgrade, but it still takes two M.2 slots. Um, so, getting around to it, I was about to put it in, and I thought, right, I'm at the stage now, I've started the YouTube channel, 
need maybe bigger drives for video editing, editing photos and so on. Um, so I thought I'd go for a premium drive for that. So my first M.2 that I decided on was the Samsung 970 EVO Plus. So to me it was a quite premium motherboard, one terabyte, good enough storage. And I would say probably the purpose is better than you know what I have currently at the minute. Then I'd thought about maybe doing another drive, having another cause of the M.2 slots, maybe going for another M.2, but a cheaper one, but something that was decent as well. And I had been watching a lot of the like YouTube channels as well and recommends and stuff, and one of the fellas I've watched, so obviously he's recommended this other product, so it's a uh, ADATA XPG SX8200 Pro and give it good reviews and stuff, so do you know what, the speed's maybe not as high as what the Samsung would be, but you know, for what the purposes I was using it for, I'd be more than fine, so I could put other programs on it as well, or I could put on, you know, maybe some games as well, because I was thinking about getting the playing that Microsoft Flight Simulator and that takes up a lot of space so that could be used for that purpose and a couple of our games and programs so I've got that now so I've got the two M.2 drives in my computer one of the things I want to talk about so this this was the this was the dilemma so basically I've got two M.2 drives and I've got a Samsung 2 terabyte EVO drive, QVO drive and so when you put in the first M.2 slot, you lose the first SATA port, which is fair enough that I had sort of thought of that and I knew that that was one of the issues, and, or not an issue, but one of the things that, you know, you, you lose a SATA port for an M.2 slot. So I automatically assumed that when I put in the second M.2, that I'd probably potentially lose another SATA slot. So reading through the manual, um, found out that, so obviously the first slot uses the first M.2, the first SATA port, grand. thought that this one would use probably the last one or you know whatever ones because usually the one to three isn't it or linked together and then the four to f the six are linked together. Um, thought this would use SATA, the SATA port six. Found out that this one actually uses two SATA ports so I lose five and six for the second M.2 slot. So this led to the problem is that, so I currently three SSDs, now I've got two M.2s that works at five drives. Um, what do I do with this one? Because potentially I can have five in total with two M.2s in it. So what do I do? Do I swap one out and put this in? Do I keep what I have and use this for something else? Do I... I don't know, so it was just sort of coming back and forth and thinking, and I like to think and debate and before I just come up to something. That's why obviously I like this channel as well, I can talk and talk to the people that's watching. Um, debate back and forth. Currently I'm playing probably a lot more games on my Xbox than I do on my PC, so for now I've decided that I'm going to use this on the Xbox and just keep the current system as with the extra M.2 so I've still got three SSDs plus these two so that's still giving me an extra two terabyte of storage on top of what I had so then the next thing was so I'm going to use this for my Xbox and then that's where I come around to buy in this external hard drive so going to put I have now put this in, but I'm going to do wee thoughts maybe in a couple of weeks down the line, see how it's performing compared to the likes of this drive. Obviously this is going to be faster, but just to see the reliability, just to make sure every time I boot up and stuff that they're loading up okay, you know, every time I have the Xbox on. So I bought this, put this into it, so this is just going to be a external hard drive for my Xbox at the minute. Now if I decide down the line that I don't need this when the new Xbox comes out, I can wipe this back to factory settings and use it on my PC if it need be. You know, or swap one out and maybe, you know, get rid of one of the smaller drives eventually. Um, so that's my thoughts so far. I've talked about all the products that I've got at the minute. There'll probably be more things in the near future towards the end of the year or maybe early next year I might do to it as well but I want to see how I'm getting on currently with what I've currently got my computer with this all in see how it's working 
and go from there. And that's just a few thoughts and things that I've had. So the one thing I want to leave off just a final note with this video is see if I was buying for myself or recommending a hard drive to anybody else. I would look into the storage that you're potentially wanting for it and look at them dot twos if that's the route you're going and see what you have potential for to make sure that's enough for your motherboard. Because a lot of people would underspend on the motherboard and they wouldn't you know think about things like this. Now I hadn't myself because I bought my few my PC has come up in I think it's over three years now. It'll be three and a half years towards the end of this year. Um yeah I so Definitely, motherboard is key to your system. I would definitely look in and download the manual and check out every, the motherboard before you're buying and make sure it's got enough you know, ports for hard drives that you're going to need and try and forward think about it in the future as you know, will that suffice your needs for what you're doing. And yep, yeah, that's it. So that comes to the end of our video now and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers for watching. If you liked the video, the content, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified of future videos and I'll see you all soon. Cheers. Bye.